Hello everyone, Relgan here again. This time I'm going to show you a, C a CVC strategy. Somewhat of a follow-up to the 12th pool that I've already shown you. The gas is 12th pool into Roach. I'm going to show you a different variation to that build. So as you can tell, I'm going for a standard 12th pool opener. My opener will, my opponent I believe will go for a hatch for... Uh, no, it goes pool gas, pool gas hatch. The best build to play against 12th pool, in my opinion. I follow it up with a standard hatch. I build my 6 circlings, then the hatchery, then 4 more circlings. I get my queen, I get a drone, and I get an overlord. So that's standard so far. Now my links are here, ready to attack his space while he droned up, he pulls down about 12 drones and now he tries to attack my links and is doing a pretty good job at killing my links. In this fight I was trying to take out as many drones as I could and if we, I'm going to, going to pause the game quickly. If you look at the way <coughs> the game looks right now it's he did not start link speed, he only mined 88 gas, he could have started link speed. He has one queen up, didn't inject with it yet, he has his drones already at the gold base, he has his circlings, a couple circlings, still fewer than I have, he's building additional circlings because he didn't know if I was going to stop. My drones are currently transferring and I'm ahead by one worker and I'm building one more worker. So. If you look at the resources lost, I killed 4 workers and he killed 4 circlings. So right now, after killing 4 workers, I am a little bit ahead. Just a little bit. Of course, if he, <coughs> excuse me, if he would get link speed, he would have an advantage in that way, so that I can't really take a third base, but he chose not to. At home I'm building a standard spine crawler that I always build, just so I can defend <coughs> excuse me, link bane link counters. And I'm now getting around 3.30, a little bit earlier because it's prior and I'm getting double gas. He's getting his link speed, he's getting a third hatchery, and I'm not doing that at the moment. Now the next step in my build is to wall off my natural. I build a, I have a queen, a spine crawler, I have two queens ready for defense and a roach one and an evolution chamber. This time I'm going to spend my first 100 gas on link speed. If you, rem if you watched my other video where I went for the same kind of build where I went two, ba two base full saturation, two gas into lair into plus one attack this time, I'm playing it, this time I'm playing it a little bit different. I'm getting a faster third hatchery instead of delaying it. I'm not getting the plus one missile at upgrade. I just built the evolution chamber for walling. Of course, there's a small gap here if you can tell. And I'm getting a super fast link speed. On his side of the map, he's getting the missile upgrade. He's getting a lair. So he's playing very greedy. He's droning up his gold base already as well. So it's... A uh, very, very greedy playstyle. Now, I follow it up with roaches. The reason why I do that is... I'm not sure if you, ga if you know the 2 ga two gas roach link speed all in. Well, if you open 12 pool and are gasless, this is a build that you can do. The strength is building a lot of roaches as soon as your two bases are saturated and you have two gas and following it up with a lot of circlings. So right now I have only, I, my circling speed is finishing and I'm walking a, a, across the map with a lot of roaches. My goal is to deny mining at his third base and kill his army. So right now I'm a little bit unstructured. I'm trying to kill the roaches before they can get to the main army. If I can attack the roaches before they can attack me, it means these roaches can't shoot. Right now I'm in the battle. I'm trying to kite these roaches a little bit while clearing the main part of his army with my roachling. And I'm only reinforcing with links and the odd roach. But my main reinforcement is completely links. I need a lot, a lot of circlings. 
The reason why I only built circlings, or almost only circlings, is because they are faster. If my roaches have to walk across the map, it takes a long time for them to be in, at my opponent's space, but my circlings are there almost immediately, so I just built mass, mass circling. Now, the reason why I built this for Tatch is so that I can have more larvae. If you look at my mineral count, I'm a little bit before uh, an insect, so I could morph in a lot of lynx or roaches pretty soon. But right now, I'm a little bit supply capped. I'm uh, not supply cap, but a little bit. I have a little bit of a bank. If you look at my at the at what he saw, he saw the evolution chamber, so he might think, well, he's going for standard plus one roach. He did not see that I had no layer, which is what he went for. His layout is pretty similar, except that he invested uh, a total of 250 minerals and 200 gas into plus one missile attack and a uh, layer that I invested into units, so I had more units. It's these little things that will end up giving you the edge in battles so that you can beat your opponent. So I'm going to quickly summarize the build again. I went 12 pool, killed 4 drones. Not too good, but it's okay. Went for a hatchery. Four queens total, a spine crawler, roach war, an evolution chamber at around 345. Around 325, I took two gas. I throned up two bases fully, went for a third hatchery. And as soon as I had my bases fully droned, I built a lot of roaches, followed up by a lot of links, and ended up killing my opponent. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to subscribe, ask me for advice, or if you have any questions to, uh, for the build, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.